Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. In this video, I want to show you an easy to use RTL433 data decoder plugin for use with SDR Sharp. Now I've covered the RTL433 command line decoder in a previous video. However, this plugin not only makes it easy to use, it also adds lots of useful features, one of which is viewing each device independently and then being able to export that information to a file. So for those of you that don't know what the heck I'm talking about, let me quickly explain. So if you're an SDR user and you've been scanning the bands and come across little data bursts around 434 megahertz, then this is the software which will decode these into something meaningful and readable. Of course, transmissions of this type could also be in other parts of the spectrum, such as the ISM bands, but luckily you can change the frequency within the plugin if required. Now, personally, I only found activity around 434 megahertz, so that's where I'll be showing in this video. Now, RTL433 supports over 200 different device protocols. These range from car fobs, weather stations, oil tank depth monitors, and even tire pressure sensors, which are fitted to the wheels of a car. So what we're looking at here is on the top left, we have SDR Sharp running with the RTL433 plugin also running. The top right window is a DOS style window, which shows a debug output. This is especially useful to make sure there's actual activity going on. This plugin is able to output decoded packets to one area at a time. So for example, in the bottom left, we see a device list along with its decoded data. On the bottom right, we see a graph output, which shows a visual representation of the decoded packet. Now just above this, we have a couple of message windows, which are messages coming from a specific device. Now be wary, this could actually provide lots of different windows popping up over the screen. I'll show you what that looks like a bit later, especially if you live in a dense area where there's lots of activity. Now you choose which output RTL433 plugin should use by selecting it on the RTL433 plugin. Now installing this plugin is very easy, especially with the latest version of SDR Sharp. Simply head to the RTL433 plugin GitHub page and download it by selecting the green code button and download a zip. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Now once downloaded, uncompress the zip file, just navigate inside and you should be able to find the latest versions of the DLL files. Now you'll need to copy those three DLL files over to the installation directory of SDR Sharp. So navigate to the plugins folder within SDR Sharp and create a new folder. Let's say DLL underscore 433. Now go back to the DLL files that you just downloaded and copy them into the newly created folder. And that's it. With the latest versions of SDR Sharp, there's no need to edit a plugins XML file. You can now start SDR Sharp and enable the plugin from the left plugin selection menu on SDR Sharp. Now to get started, make sure the plugin is enabled and then go through some of the available options and set them as required. The frequency selection area allows you to change the frequency the plugin uses, either by using one of the pre-programmed frequencies or selecting free and choosing your own. Now, depending on your country and local activity, I would suggest starting off with the 433.92 selection as your first choice. Now, just above the frequency selection, you can choose where the messages will be outputted to. Now, you can play around with these settings until you find the setting you like. However, the list messages option will open a new window for each device it decodes. This means you can export a specific device's data that's been captured over a period of time, which is quite useful if you're monitoring a weather station, for example, or maybe your oil level tank sensor. So here's an example of the plugin running for quite some time. And as you can see, there's lots of message windows. Each of these represent a message protocol, but can include more than one device if there is more than one of the same type of device decoded. Now here, I've received a wide range of devices from weather stations to oil tank sensors, car key fobs, and even tire pressure sensors from cars driving past my property. Each message window will have an export button on the bottom left. This can be pressed to export that window's data to a text file. Now the data contained is tabbed eliminated, which means you can easily load it into an application such as Excel or OpenOffice. 
Now, before I end this video, I'm sure you're wondering what type of SDR I'm using and what type of antenna. So the SDR used for this video was an RTL SDR version 3 USB dongle. And then the antenna was my dual band collinear that I used for VHF and UHF handbands. Now that is located on my chimney, so it's nice and high in the air. Now I'll leave a link in the description for my Amazon storefronts where you can buy a suitable SDR or antenna. Of course, the antenna will need to cover the band which you select in the plugin. Well, there we go, guys. That's an overview of the RTL433 plugin for use with SDR Sharp. Now, if any of you have used this plugin or even the DOS based version, then please let me know if you've had any success with frequencies other than 434 megahertz. I'll be quite interested to know what type of devices you were able to receive on other frequencies. I'd also like to say massive thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members for obviously supporting this channel, which makes it possible for me to continue bringing you cool content. Until the next video, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.